All right, hey there, Rivet Crew. Happy Wednesday. We have an interval workout today with a rather unusual format. Four quick intervals. We have a two minute, a two minute, a two minute, and the last one is a three minute interval. Today, each interval, each one of those intervals will start with jump rope and some burpees. Uh, whatever format you're taking with our jump rope and the burpees, ideally, it shouldn't take you more than 45 seconds at the beginning of each interval. Look at my programming notes for variations here. As written, the workout is 25 double unders. This can be 40 single unders or any of the other options I have listed there for you. And then the burpees at the beginning of each interval are five lateral over your dumbbell burpees, right? That's just jumping over one of the dumbbells you're using in the workout today. So again, whatever variation you have, try to keep it to 45 seconds or less. Scale those numbers down if you need to. And then the rest of the interval, which should be over a minute, uh, we are doing as many dumbbell devil's press as we can. That is the MRAP part. That is the scored portion of the workout today is how many double dumbbell devil's press you can perform over the course of the four intervals. Um, and all the two ones, the two, two, two should have ideally more than a minute, minute 15, minute 20 to work on those. And the last one, you get that extra bonus minute because it's a three minute interval. So keep track of your devil's press as you go through. There's a two minute break in between each interval days. So you'll have a chance to kind of write down your score. So there you go. Uh, what do we need today? We need two dumbbells. Ideally, this workout can be done with one dumbbell as well. I'll show you. So devil's press is a combination of a burpee and a double dumbbell uh, snatch from the floor. Two dumbbells. Set them on the floor, about shoulder width apart. What we're doing is we're putting our hands on the dumbbells. We're dropping our chest all the way down to the floor like a regular burpee. We're bringing those feet in a little bit wider so there's space between the legs. And then we are snatching those dumbbells up overhead in one big fluid movement. Back down to the floor and repeat all the way down. Feet are wide, swing them up. This is the dumbbell devil's press. If you only have one dumbbell, we can do it that way too. Um, just one dumbbell, of course, bringing it down, regular burpee, single snatch, all the way up, switch hands each time, down and up. Suitable variation right there, switch hands each rep. What I want you to think about today in all these movements is snappy. This is the word you're thinking of today, being snappy. So when you're doing your jump rope, double under, single under is either one. This really nice me snappy with those wrists. The faster we can move that rope, the quicker we get through our sets. Um, and the less kind of uh, energy is spent, you know, you're not using your shoulders, you're not using your elbows. It's all a nice quick snapping of the wrists. So quick rope, quick jumps, quick sets, so you can move on. Then we have our burpees. With our burpees today, let's try to be snappy with the feet. When we set up with our one dumbbell, we set up the feet right next to the dumbbell. We're going to go down into our burpee, and then we're going to focus on really snapping those hips, those feet forward, I should say, right to where they started so you can go immediately over into that jump, right? Really snap those feet forward so you can go right into that jump. When we're jumping over our dumbbells, let's think about being snappy with the heels. So rather than kind of pulling those whole legs up and jumping over, which is a lot more weight and a little bit slower, let's try to kind of snap those heels up off the ground as we go over. Whoop, don't fall over like I did. But snap those heels, snap those heels. It's a lot quicker, a little less energy, better cycling time. And then last but not least, on the devil's press, let's be snappy with those hips. If you start using your back, your arms, to pull those dumbbells up, this move is gonna get extremely tiring. We need to use the hips, we need to use the glutes. When we come up out of that position with those two dumbbells, we're gonna go down, those feet up, we're really gonna snap those hips forward, right? Snap them forward hard, squeeze your butt. Those weights are gonna be a lot easier to get up overhead. So, thanks Snappy today. Uh, keep track of your devil's press. That is your score. Don't forget you have a two minute break in between each interval. So when it's time for the devil press, try to keep moving, try to keep moving. No breaks, because you got that rest. There you go. All right, I'll see you tomorrow guys. Have a good workout.